Remember back in the 1990s? When there used to be a time zone arcade on every street corner in the city? They were as common back then as 7-Elevens and Starbucks are today. Back in the 80s and 90s, arcades were well and truly superior to anything you could play on your home console. The Super Nintendo, even the PlayStation and Saturn just couldn't compare. Then suddenly in the early 2000s, there was a changing of the guard. And before you knew it, the arcade scene was dead. At least in Australia. Now, here we are! It's nearly the year 2020 already, and we're seeing an incredible resurgence of arcade games. 30 years ago, we were all just kids. Now we're adults. Well, at least in appearance. We have jobs and money, and we want to spend that money by reliving the old days. Classic childhood memories mixed with beer, and that, my friends, is a winning combination. This is Bartronica, and it's taken the city of Melbourne by storm. I suppose you want me to show you around to see the games, huh? Well, can't you see I'm busy? The nostalgia just hits you as soon as you walk in the door. And it's located right in the heart of Melbourne city too. Just look for this arcade signage out front and head on down. So you've got Double Dragon 2 starring Bimmy and Jimmy. Ghouls and Ghosts, one of the hardest games in the world. Snow Brothers, pretty fun co-op game, similar to Bubble Bobble. This Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pizza drop thing, I don't know, I've never seen this before. And Ice Cold Beer, you know if you actually beat this game, you win a free beer, which is a lot easier said than done. Outside tucked away in the smoking area is House of the Dead and Virtual Cop 2's here. Great co-op shooting game, a lot of fun. Marvel vs Capcom, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Street Fighter Zero and Tekken 2. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Minus Michael Jordan. Mortal Kombat 1. Point Blank. Now this is one of my favorites. Namco really nailed it with this one. Time Crisis 2 and some pinball games. And there's the 4 car link Daytona USA. Without a doubt, this place's most popular game. I've watched people play countless times, it's a classic. 40 year old drunk guys driving on beginner track in auto, beating their even drunker mates, and then celebrating like they are a hero. Metal Slug 2 Buster Move Popeye <sighs> Yes, Golden Axe God, I love this game King of Fighters 97 is here Speed Race, now this is really going back.
Miss Pac-Man. Super Mario Brothers, bloody hell. Who the hell is Nidge? And do you think he likes this game? Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. Everyone loves a good old beat em up. Aha! And Mortal Kombat 2. Brilliant game! I remember this drew extremely heavy crowds on its original release. People would huddle around, and if you could pull off a fatality in front of everyone, you were a legend! Rampage is here. On free play too, I might add. Good three player fun. Alright, what's over here? We got Donkey Kong! Nineteen forty two Rastan. I love this on Commodore sixty four. The music is awesome. And if playing arcade games isn't enough for you, or you find yourself getting your ass kicked too much. There's an abundance of consoles here too. Mega Drive, Super Nintendos, Ataris, N64s, Playstations and Xboxes. And there's a warehouse of games behind the counter that the staff will happily change for you. There's a private booth here with Super Mario Kart on SNES setup. But for some reason, they have one PAL controller, and the other is a Japanese Super Famicom controller. And if you didn't know, these have really short cables. What kind of sick bastard would make someone play at an uncomfortable disadvantage like this? There's about five private booths here with N64 set up. All four players. Get your friends together and kick their asses in Goldeneye or Smash Brothers or whatever. And as Duke Nukem would say, It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I am all out of gum.